Hi guys, and welcome to module one. Here, we're going to go through some quick notes on SQL and getting started with this course. So we are going to dive right in. Our data, let's talk about that first. So the data that we're going to be using for this course is Big Ecom. It's a fictitious online retailer. So although this isn't real data from an e-commerce store, this is very similar to the type of data that you would see working for or working in e-commerce. Uh, as you'll see in the SQL browser walkthrough in about two minutes, uh, we have four tables. And all of these tables are going to be joined through customer ID. So to tell you a little bit more about the tables, we have a customer table, and this is the main table that's aggregated at the customer level and has a lot of fields about uh, data that's just relevant to the customer. So, you know, how much they paid in commission in 2018, their social media usage, uh, where are they located? Have they ever visited the, you know, big e-com blog? Just different things that we're able to track related to the customer is in the customer table. The sales call table is the dates where sales calls were opened and closed um, and the type of call resolution and call type. So people call in, they get help from customer service or are being sold on uh, using the, the products that big e-com sells. And so that data is in a different table but for modeling, it would be relevant to understand if some of the customers are calling more frequently than others or those who have needed help. For the web scraping data table, that is a table that holds the data that you would typically see if you were to scrape someone's website. So not all the customers have a website, but for those that do, we'd be able to scrape their website and we'd have things like the amount of time it took for their website to load, how many words are on the pages, uh, how many images are on the pages, the language of their site, whether or not we saw a shopping cart there, meaning that you know the people who are uh, using our services are also selling something themselves. And then we have a table for build services. So this is, you know, additional services that big e-com offers and some people have purchased those services. So that would be another relevant piece of modeling is, you know, are people buying products from us, but are they also buying our services and getting a measure of how engaged these people are? Uh, so we're going to be using these four tables to learn SQL, clean up these tables, uh, join them together and do some feature engineering. So now we're going to talk about how you'll be accessing the data. The data is in a SQL light browser that you can find by going to the link right there, kristenkerr.github.io backslash data moves me hyphen SQL course. So literally you'll go there and you'll find all the tables and, and you'll be able to just start writing queries. It will return results for you and then you can use the, the results that are returned to answer the quiz questions that are part of the course. So let's do a walkthrough of that browser. All right, so here we are in the SQL browser for this course. You'll see that you can have multiple tabs. So we're in the main tab now, but if I was working on something and I wanted to save that and work on something else, I could just open up a new tab and start writing queries right here. You'll see that our tables are over here. So here's the four tables we just talked about, build services, sales call, web scraping data, and customer. And if I click on the drop down for any of these, I can see what columns, 
what columns are in the table and what data type they are. Now, one thing to note is that data types in SQLite are a little bit different than data types on other servers. So one other piece of functionality to show you is that if I try and run two queries at once, just like in a regular SQL browser, we'd get back both, but we do have the option to just run a selection of the code and get back that one piece. And so I think that's all that we need to cover in terms of the SQL browser. All right, awesome. So you've made it to the end of module one and we've gone over a little bit of background on SQL, the browser we're gonna be using and the data that we're going to be using and now we can hop right into writing SQL queries. So I hope you're super excited and I will see you in module two.